Oh, what is up guys? It has been a long time since I've done some sort of a little tutorial um, on YouTube and yeah, I'm putting the tutorials back uh, based around uh, films that we're doing um, and upcoming movies that we're, we're, we're going to be uh, uh, doing as well. So this is sort of based around um, an effect um, or something that we're going to need to do in Don't Open The Door, uh, which is our horror film that we start production on um, in July and for that we need some crowd simulation um, in the form of uh, demons now obviously you know I'm not going to speak sort of too much about this um, because it is secret at the moment and I'm not going to be placing demons into the scene we're just going to be talking or having a little chat about crowd simulation uh, which is what we're going to be using um, a little bit sort of history behind it um, and what it's basically used for um, and then after that, we're going to jump in um, and just do a very small crowd simulation using some soldiers um, to show you guys literally how it all works. Um, hopefully, a few videos in a few videos time, we're, we're going to be doing some rendering on this and um, adding our crowd simulations into a scene, uh, which is cool. But like I just said, um, you know, we're going to be uh, using this sort of crowd simulation for. Uh, don't open the door. I think it's the first time I've used it in my own sort of feature um, Which is going to be very exciting to see sort of how it sort of turns out Now crowd simulation um, was devised by Massive which was used um, By Peter Jackson developed by Peter Jackson studio where digital for the Lord of the Rings trilogy uh, to create soldiers and orcs and massive amounts of battles uh, simulations uh, in the scene. Um, as you can see, Massive is being used in a lot of AAA movies, um, along with World War Z. You've seen it in World War Z, you've seen it in The Meg, uh, the beach scene in The Meg, um, so on and so on. Um, I do have Massive, uh, which you can see down here at the bottom, um, but the thing with Massive is it's very expensive um, and it's um, very sort of difficult uh, sort of to get into um, and I don't think it's very fair if I start doing tutorials on Massive unless you want me to um, when not a lot of people own it I'm lucky to own it um, but obviously the one that's identical to Massive um, and with a lot less price tag it's still a little bit expensive um, is Gollum so we're going to be using Gollum as well and obviously I've got my army as well um, which is very similar to column and massive at the same time so as you can see here um, you know it's it's not cheap um, but the the effects are, are fantastic you can try Gollum for free um, if you own Maya so if you've got a Maya license because um, it is a plugin the same as massive the same as my army um, you can try it out for free um, for as long as you want uh, the only thing is these the, the very heavy limitations it has so when you render it out or you render out a scene all your characters are going to be orange they're going to be uh, disfigured uh, so on and so on so it's in essence a um, a trial run so you can sort of play around with with the actual geometry and the actual setup so you can create a setup uh, in Gollum on the free version but rendering is going to be uh, pretty pretty impossible so going back to what I just said Massive was created by Weta Digital for the Lord of the Rings trilogy um, and ever since then it's been used in uh, a lot uh, of AAA movies exactly the same as um, if we go to um, uh, our gallery uh, for uh, Gollum it's been used in some of the biggest films uh, ever made and it's been used in so many films a game of thrones to create battle scenes uh, soldiers you know it's been used in so much uh, the walking dead um you name it it's, it's it's basically been used so with all that said and done let's jump over to maya um and sort of get things started so we're at the um the, the start of Maya, the, the, the baseline of Maya, and the version I'm going to be using is 7.3.7. .7. It's a full license, which is cool. Um, so I'm going to be using that. I do have, as you can see here, my army as well. Um, and I do have uh, um, 
uh, Massive as well. If you do want to see a tutorial or something on Massive, please leave a comment in the description below. Um, and when I've got time, um, I'll, 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 I'll knock something up for you guys um, and we can sort of go from there. Like I just said, Massive is a hell of a lot more complicated than um, Gollum. Um, and it's a lot more expensive as well. So it's in the tens of thousands uh, of pounds. So let's get cracking. Let's create a little battle scene or a little scene, nothing serious, um, in Maya. Okay, so we've got our, uh, our panel open up the top here. We're in our Gollum uh, settings. And then I'm just gonna click on this little arrow just to make sure all my settings in Maya are correct. Um, so as, as you can see, we've got all the S's. I'm not gonna delve too much deep into it because there's a lot more um, tutorials online uh, or on YouTube explaining a little bit about this. Our job is just to create a little scene uh, uh, for you to see how it all, all works. So, first of all, I'm gonna create a plane um, and then I'm going to make that plane um, a little bit bigger. Um, so, let's just create a plane to build up our thing. Normally when you're doing large scale battles, your plane will be a hell of a lot bigger than this. Um, uh, but this is just to show you guys basically sort of how it all works. So, okay. So we're gonna create um, a train locator. And if we go into our environments on the left, we can see we've got a train here uh, with all our settings. You know, um, if we wanna create like, you know, like mountains and stuff like that, we can do dynamic meshes, so on and so on. But that's, that, that, that's for a later video, so um, cool. So let's bring um, our soldiers in. So I'm gonna to go to uh, my Maya, um, or if I go to my computer, I'll go from the start C drive. I've got a Gollum folder here uh, with uh, some characters uh, I can use. So I've got a cavalry soldier. This comes with a horse as well. Um, I've got spiders, I've got bees, uh, I've got a car. But for this one, uh, let's just go and uh, just use a, a soldier fortress. Now, once you select your soldier, it's going to ask you to um, uh, create a texture for it. Um, um, but all depends in, depending on what you use. For instance, um, V-Ray, uh, Arnold Rendra, you've got to select the correct uh, texture or the correct shader, should I say, for that uh, character. So we use V-Ray, so I'm going to click on VR V-Ray and then I'm just going to click open on that. And then hopefully everything goes well. We've got our first um, little soldier uh, in our scene. Okay, so that's cool. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a particle. Um, particles, if you don't know, is a great way of creating things like bees, wasps, snow, rain, anything that has loads of elements to it, smoke, fire, that's basically what a particle is. Um, but we're gonna create particles using our soldiers. So I'm just gonna click um, on the screen after I've select that. And then down this side, I've got all my settings. If it's sort of, you can't see it, like this, then all you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this little icon here and it's gonna give you um, our placement of where our soldiers are gonna be started. So as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five soldiers that will be added to the scene. Up here, we've got slots. So I'm gonna go and put um, uh, 10,000. Um, we're gonna go crazy. Um, and as you can see here, it's given us um, a grid so pretend that this is a section of orcs section of demons section of soldiers and this is sort of how they're going to be sort of lined up and over here on the other side we can sort of make the radius we can make the height we can make the distance between the soldiers a bit bigger so we're going to make them just slightly bigger um, the noise is basically how you want them to sort of all be mixed up but for this we want them all in a straight line and then obviously we've got our orientations which um, you know, make our soldiers sort of face, um, should I say, the same direction, opposite directions, uh, so on and so on. <coughs> We've got our columns um, and then our width, so how many soldiers we want in the scene. Um, so for this, say for instance, we want a nice sort of battle hungry Lord of the Ring style um, legion of, of soldiers. We're going to bring that up because when you sort of zoom up, the idea is when you sort of zoom out, 
um, and you're sort of flying over it with a camera, it's going to give you an awesome effect of those soldiers. Anyway, when we're happy with that, we're going to just click create. And it looks like nothing's happened here, but it will happen once we um, move our timeline. So we're just going to give that a minute to um, sort of sit in. And we're just going to wait. And here we go. We've got all our soldiers. Okay. So as you can see, we've got a wicked legion of soldiers in our scene. Um, but at the moment, they're all in what I, what's known as a T pose. Um, so I keep doing that. Um, so let's go back to our um, that's our light set. We don't want that yet. Let's go back to our crowd manager. Um, so as you can see, um, all our soldiers are sort of ready to be animated um, in essence. So let's go to our population and go to our pop tool here. Now, how do we get these guys to have some sort of movement? Because like I just said, they're all in the sea bows. Um, they don't look really, really great. But if you can sort of zoom out and then just look, if you was gonna do like an overhead shot, when you would sort of add this to your scene, it would look absolutely awesome um, once it's all rendered. Okay, so let's move over. So we're going to go up to our environment behavior uh, window. We're going to open that up, and this is uh, basically environment behavior. And um, I don't want you to do too much. So up here, we've got some uh, um, uh, 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 settings uh, for some movements. Um, and I'm just going to go through perform a path. So you can perform a path. Uh, for your soldiers to walk to a certain point in the scene, uh, so on and so on. But we sort of don't want to do this. I want them to um, be uh, just a standard number. So I'm going to put that in and drop it on the arrow up here. And if we play, nothing's happened. And the reason nothing's happened is because we've not yet set a movement uh, for the soldier. Um, so we're going to do that now. So we're going to double click on that and it's going to. We're going to go back into our C drive, our Gollum pack, and we're going to go to Gollum, and we're going to go to our motions, and we're going to go to our battle, um, and we're going to pick um, a, a, a movement, a decent movement. So we don't want to run, walk. Um, let's go with. Um, Let's go with fight scene. So we're going to double click on that and sort of add that into our, into our thing. So we're going to wait for it to sort of render. And as you can see, they're all sort of um, um, doing, if I just go, go into this now um, and press play, they're all doing a uh, wicked movement. So let's just zoom into our soldiers and they're all in sync. So let's go nice and close to them. Okay, and let's just move this over. As you can see, they're all ready to sort of attack and, and, and block. Now you can add mo mo multiple movements, should I say. Um, so if we go back into our uh, motion, um, and just shrink that up, we're gonna, we're gonna add another one of these and we're, we're not gonna drop it on the outside because if you drop it on the outside, nothing's gonna happen because it's not connected to our motion sequence. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hover over the top and drop it on top so we get a second movement before these soldiers. And then again, I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to um, have a look at another movement. So let's go um, arm rise, stand, just get the correct movement, uh, arm rise, given orders, uh, signboard, sample, rotation. Uh, let, let's try one. I don't know if it's going to work, but let's just try one. Um, and then we're going to let that sort of load up. As you can see, it's sort of moving to forward and then going into attack mode, which actually looks pretty good. As you can see here. But when you look at it from, which, you know, most films, that's how they work. 
when you look at it from a distance, um, it looks in, it looks incredible. You know, they're, they're, they're ready to sort of uh, kick kick butt, and that looks pretty pretty awesome. So what you would do, for instance, is you would set this up the way you want, um, and then basically bring your scene in, make a plane. I would do a detailed video of that later uh, 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 later on. Uh, uh, attach a plane to it, and then you would use them. Um, match animation to um, basically your scene so uh, in a later video um, but basically that is the premise that is basically how um, crowd simulation basically works um, obviously once this is rendered um, it's gonna look a hell of a lot better um, you know in the scene so if I just pan out now you can see they're walking um, once it's rendered it's going to look a hell of a lot better but as you can see it's all charging you know charging to their um, to their to their battle so I hope you've enjoyed this video guys I hope this sort of gives you a rough idea of how sort of crowd simulation sort of works um, I will be doing a detailed video on um, our don't, put, don't open the door demon stuff I will be trying to show you how you add your own characters into Gollum um, and how you, you sort of render it out, how you sort of bring it into a scene um, to sort of make it all sort of work. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to uh, planning the next scenes or, 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 or the next tu tutorial for you guys. Um, and yeah, we can um, um, have a look at how we're going to do it for Don't Open the Door. Uh, with some demons uh, which is going to be very very cool and then we'll be doing some sort of population in cities um, for zombies and stuff like that so very 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 cool so as always guys love you very much and as always if you haven't subscribed remember hit that subscribe button um, and hit that like, like button as well that would be very very much appreciated and yeah I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video ciao ciao